UFC lightweight division bout. All right, so an interesting stylistic clash here. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to take his opponent down and get off some of that patented ground and pound. Yes, and once he's on top, he starts to just gain control first. He does not try to rush to the next position because he understands whether or not he's in the guard, half guard, or side control, he can find ways to land big damage. In the side control, he does a really good job of going knee on belly, posturing right. his body all the way to the top, and just coming down with big punches. Boom, once he lands, he goes back and he secures. Right. Then he goes back to find another, another big strike. He does not waste energy just throwing little rabbit punches. Everything has to matter, as you've seen in some of the great ground and pound fighters we've right. ever seen, like Jack Hermanson, guy that beats you into the bottom of the octagon until you roll over and give up your neck to get submitted. Yeah, nothing pitter-patter about it. No. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Mexico, Russia, Islam Makachev! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 33 wins, 9 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Charles Dobrox, All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. Try to circle off of the cage. Washington potentially a critical take. 
down here. All right, has the guard closed here? Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Ground and pound strike there now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. I mean, how many can he take? All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Oliveira. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. <laughs> trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Sound strike on the ground. This to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound. Take it back to the days of guys like Mark. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The floor is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. He might get a finish here. Just be a matter of time. Somehow stays in the fight. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Now looking to do something with that left arm. He's isolating the Kimura attack. Notice he'll pick up his left leg, step over the head to get his opponent on his hip. Once he gets him on his side, he'll start to apply pressure to try to get the finish. it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliotta is going to stop in this contest at three minutes, 44 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an armbar, Islam Malkachev!